scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time it's going to make you attain whatever stature that christ wants you to attain thank you i watch with a lot of shock the way we pressure ourselves looking for fame looking for names it's led us to all kinds of things pastors we want crowds like this. This is the ambition of many people. So that, I'll tell you where we got that thinking from. It's very sincere, but it's wrong. We came from backgrounds. Cultural backgrounds. Territorial backgrounds. Where we have been faced with this competitive spirit. Are we together? Of trying to prove to our contemporaries, our loved ones, those in our environments that we are successful so um uh, in a in a very sincere attempt to be great we have found ourselves under pressure not to glorify christ but to prove to everyone around us that we are not failures are we together now it has led us into what the bible calls vain glory the pursuit for mundane things so Lord, I want money so that by the time I dress well or have a car and a house, everybody will know that I'm not a failure. Do you know one of the ways Satan deceives people is to try to tell you he will give you what God has already given you. So he makes you go around trying to do everything. There are many young people. We want to be rich. Why? So that in-laws and people will not think that you are a you are a non-entity and it has driven us to all kinds of stupid things there are all kinds of people telling lies wanting to show that we are great people and so you tell a lie you know my father is in the u.s for some reasons he can't come into the country whereas your father is an iron bender somewhere you are not proud of him because you think that by saying my father is this and that you will not be seen as being successful from beginning to the end it will always be always be you jesus oh jesus listen anything in your life that does not glorify god directly i'm telling you today is a waste i don't care what it is money fame children marriage prestige accolades whatever it is because the bible says what shall it profit a man he uses a business terminology what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul he's not endorsing poverty he's not endorsing failure he's only saying that all of these things are only tools that you use and men will see Jesus Christ directly glorified in your life. I shared with you my experience with God. Many years ago, the Lord told me this. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. That's what the Lord said. Not if you look for fame and a name. No. God is my witness. My passion and my obsession is not to be a man of God and make a name and prove that I'm a successful person. No, far be it from me. 
I have one desire. Our heart and our desire is to see the nations worship our cry and our prayer is to sing your praise to the ends of the earth that we Try and talk, rejoices our heart and our prayer. This is what this is all about is to see the nations worship you, your kingdom reign. Yes, it reigns through my life, through my life. Lord, your kingdom reigns. Your yes, it reigns above life oh god in my life let me not live my life in a waste building empires that have no eternity your kingdom in my Had me teach it again and again. Anna wanted a child, but her purpose of wanting a child was to end the mockery of Penina. Are we together now? The Bible says there were the two wives of Elkanah, and many times Penina would mock Hannah because she was barren. And Hannah went to God, but her motive was never aligned to the kingdom. She wanted to use her ability to give birth to prove that she was a woman indeed. And God said, it's not enough reason for me to give you a child. You may want a child. I cannot let you bring a destiny just to prove a point. What then happens when the point has been proven? Oh God, give me a jeep to shame my enemies. God said, it's too small a reason for me to bless you. Make me a millionaire to silence the mouth of wicked men. God says, it's still too small. A time came, Anna said, Lord, I realize I've been selfish. Here is a new proposal. You need a prophet. Can my womb birth that man child? And God said, deal, done. Once she prayed, once she prayed, and a prophet came. I'll tell you the reason why God does not do business with us. We use God, hear me please, the Holy Ghost is speaking. We use God as a ladder to come out of shame to come out of pain, to come out of inferiority. Lord, I want anointing. He says, why? He said, my contemporaries need to know your hand is upon my life. God says, you are joking. You will never, never carry two grace. Lord, I want to get married. Why? Because I, I want to get out of the stigma of singleness. God said, my purpose for marriage is bigger than that. Lord, I want to be a millionaire. Why? There is a brother I need to prove wrong. Your life is too long to live just to prove a point. And God says, when I look at your life, I don't see your obsession for my agenda. There is nothing eternal in the motivations of your pursuit. Are we together? 
I told God something. Anything you give me, and I'm saying it now, I don't care what it is. If you cannot find where you'll be glorified to it, may it never come to my life. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. The Lord Jesus is not a fool. He's not a stupid person. You don't come to him praying, rattling in tongues, whereas in your heart, God already knows that if I give this man one million, I will never get his attention again. Again. God has done it before. There are people he opened up doors for and he watched. His intention was to bless you more than that. But the little he gave, he kept watching. And right now our lives are Ichabod, the departure of the glory. Hallelujah. If there is any message I want you to get today, this is not a message for men of God. It's a message for those who want to be used mightily by God. There are so many things God wants to do with us. But you must get to that point of obsession where first, your love for God, please listen, listen, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, until your love for God supersedes your desires, you will never find the hand of God in your life. Lord, I hate poverty. And since I found out in the Bible that coming close to you will make me rich, I now come close to you as a means to an end. You will never be prosperous that way. Hallelujah. Listen, I speak especially to us the young people. Don't allow what is happening in society fool you. You are not the first to live your life. You are not the first to be blessed or to be prosperous or to pursue success. There is no true success outside of Christ. Not just going to church and trying to be nice. Seriousness. Sisters have challenged you. Don't marry anybody that is not serious with God. With traceable transformation. No matter what he tells you. He can have all the jeeps, all the whatever it is. But any man that has passion for the things of the Lord. You know, our society has a, a very insulting way of trivializing godliness. Right? No matter what else you have. If you don't have God, it's a waste. But our society has taken it the other way around. If you have God, no matter what else you don't have, they think you are not successful. This is how much he means to us. Why should I keep what people say? For they don't know what you mean to me. They don't know what you mean to me. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Listen, get to a point in your life where your entire desire is to see him lifted. If God makes you a millionaire businessman, you are a minister in business, not a Sunday Christian doing every other thing. Where when God empowers you, it is for his kingdom. Are we together? If God gives you intellectual prowess, it's for his kingdom. He gives you beauty for his kingdom. Thank you, sir. He gives you money, it's for his kingdom. He gives you influence, it's for his kingdom. Listen, if God knows you will not withhold his glory, he will not withhold his hand from you too. I am amazed. I am amazed to see the little that God has been able to do through my life. You know, when I see it, people send me all kinds of texts. Man of God, apostle of our generation. And I just look at the text and laugh. For you are God alone. 
from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God. I'm not interested in anything in this life that I cannot find how it will glorify God. If you cannot show me how it will glorify God, I'm not interested. I don't care what it is. You must get to that point where your life, you donate your life to be a promoter of his interest. Anywhere you get to, you find out, Lord, how are you going to be lifted here? He said, if I... If your life is committed to lifting me, there is nothing I will not give you. If your life is committed to lifting me, I will take you beyond every territorial background. Ah! It was, it was Nathaniel that said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Try donating your life to God and see the wonder he will make out of your life. My life is a wonder. My mom called, okay, well, she didn't call, but she sent me a text. Oh, by the way, my mom said she's praying for everyone and that your prayers will be answered throughout this fasting period. My mom is a very anointed woman. Anointed indeed. She's been following in the fasting. Praying also. She was listening to the message. I think it was yesterday's message and she was just weeping. And I told her, you've not seen anything yet. If you think you are a failure in life you succeeded in giving birth to me and that's enough reason to be a success forever koinonia come to a point tonight where jesus becomes the focal point the pivot of your life listen there is no such thing as church life and then real life you know people do that this is church they say look look when in rome behave like the romans do it's not in your bible you have to be careful. I'm a child of God anywhere. Right? So you pick up your phone and you put a, a gospel song. And when it is ringing in a business meeting, you quickly off it. So that it doesn't embarrass you because you want to be neutral. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men. Please hear me, Koinonia. If you are ashamed of me before men. He said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father my appetite and my addiction for God, I don't know what he did to me. I've been captured by a love I can't explain. Now you have me and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned everything I've ever known. Now I surrender this life is not my own. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong. Must get to that point that's the first thing i want you to learn come to a point where you are not just born again but you are addicted so you see a pretty lady like this and it's easy to believe that because she's fine my dear if your beauty if god cannot see how your beauty directly glorifies him is nonsense is useless as far as the agenda of god is concerned are we together everything not just your education. Everything that constitutes an advantage in your life must have a direct bearing. If you do this, I show you the secret of unbeatable greatness. God will bring you out of, bless you my dear, every storm and put you in a position of notoriety because he knows that your being there is for his namesake. Is God blessing us tonight? One of the things we are going to be crying as we round up this period, awesome period of fasting and prayer. I was talking to the Lord yesterday 
I said, Lord, look at what you have done with your child. So many people say all kinds of things. During my birthday, I was so honored last year. We had delegates from over 16 nations calling in to say, look, this is what your teachings are doing, changing people. That's what God can do when you believe him. When you really love God, you will not have time for pride and arrogance. It's not the issue of, I want to be, I'm stopping it. There is a revelation that threatens you to humility at all times. All times. It's a revelation. That's why I run away from all these kinds of things. Because I've seen the deceitfulness of man. He will celebrate you and stab you when you fall. People can clap you into death. So every time they clap, God says, remember you are an usher. Remember our prayer and fasting. And so you lead them and say, there is one who is mightier than I and I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed to know that I am not here for myself. Listen, this is what Jesus said. I can of my own do nothing. The word of God speaking so helpless, I can of my own do nothing. Brothers and sisters, everything you see behind this small life that you see is a product of God's grace is the reward of addiction to the kingdom it's not so much my wisdom the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom right let the strong man not glory in his strength they say but let him that glory yet glory in this many years ago the Lord told me my only promise to you is my presence God never promised me a car he never promised me fame he never promised me crowd. All he promised me was his presence. And he has kept that promise. If nothing else works in my life, I cannot blame God. The promise he made was his presence. And Moses said, if your presence go not with us, he said, we will not depart from here. For how shall they know that we are a separate people? The presence of God is the mystery behind the magnificent things God is doing in and through this ministry. And tonight, I'll share two more things and then we are going to pray. And say, Lord, I not only give you my heart, I give you my life. There is a big difference between giving God your heart and giving God your life. We used to sing a song, remember, my lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. Don't play it. He says, when, Abi, if I give God my lifetime, he will take care of me. Now, that song is not a good bargain for many people. Because they said, Lord, I gave you my lifetime. And I saw the way you shredded me into pieces. We have this idea that when we walk to, with God, we will be cheated. No. No. Godliness is profitable. Having the reward here in this life and in the life to come. Number two. The second thing that I want to challenge us is to have a passion for understanding. Please say after me, understanding. Those outside, are you with us? Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Understanding. The Bible says, in all thy getting, get understanding. Understanding tells you the dynamics on how a thing works. Listen. Ejimi's wife made this beautiful cake. I know the ingredients to make a cake, but I don't understand how it works. At least I know that you need flour, you need egg, you need uh, uh, all the other things. Are we together? But she understands how to work. If you want to make fried rice, I may know how to make fried rice, but I'm not sure I understand it. I know in that fried rice there should be rice. There should be liver. My friend is helping me. There should be liver. Carrots. Now listen. But do I know how much of liver? No. Do I know when to put the liver? No. If you give me all those ingredients, let me tell you what I'll do. I will mix everything at once and close it. And the next time I open that pot, I'm lifting it. I don't cook. I don't cook. It's not my ministry. That's the reason why I'm determined to be successful.
because I know that when I'm successful, that lapse will be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, but let, let's get back to our point. Understanding. Listen, we know many things, but we do not know how to combine them to be successful. You know there is a place of destiny helpers. You know there is a place of fasting and prayer. Are we together? You know there is a place of warfare. You know there is a place of giving and sacrifice. But do you know how to combine them to produce an unbeatable life? We need to pray for understanding. It's not everything that is just the blood of Jesus. It's not everything that is just prayer. For instance, finances is not just the issue of prayer. Prayer gives you wisdom. Finances is a covenant. It's an understanding. Right? He said, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power, the anointing, the unction to prosper. There is such a thing. The Bible says, and I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. You know that what it takes to do ministry, there is a place for leadership and organization. There is a place for the anointing, right? There is a place for people's skills. There is a place for endurance and persistence. There is a place for, for um, competence in the world. But do you know how to combine them together? Many of us right now, our problem is not ignorance. Our problem is understanding of the operation of the systems of the kingdom. How to make things work is really revelation. Not that you are aware Knowing what God has said is not revelation. Knowing how to make it produce results in your life. Consistent results is understanding. Tell your neighbor, get understanding. This is what we have been doing. We've been praying and fasting. And we have been taking a thought, a dimension of the keys of the kingdom. Just approaching it. The place of power. The place of destiny help us. The place of favor. You must passionately pray and ask the Lord to give it to you as a personal revelation. Lord, show me. If you were to draw a pie chart for me, how much percentage of my life should be dedicated in building relationships? How many should be dedicated in the place of knowledge? How much should be dedicated in warfare? There are people who all they do in their life is to fight warfare. They fight warfare until they are frustrated. They hold night vigils every day. You see, they have stretched the truth beyond its limit of operation. The truths in the kingdom are dimensional. It only profits you when you apply the kingdom uh, within the confines of its relevance. That it is truth does not mean it's applicable anyhow. You must define the boundaries to which its application becomes relevant. Are we together? There is a place tithing and giving holes in kingdom wealth. But it's not just tithing and giving alone. Are we together now? Yeah. If all you do is tithe and give, favor will come. But you do not have wisdom. A house is not built by favor. Through wisdom, a house is built. And by understanding it is established. He said through knowledge, the rooms are filled with every treasure. So we need to know how to combine the correct ingredients and you will make for an unbeatable life number three maybe i'll just say that and then i'll stop there number three i have emphasized it again and again the bible says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he listen there is the place of your mentality your mindset your paradigm Mindsets are conditionings. Mindsets are perspectives. Mindsets are opinions. Mindsets are constructions, planes, perspectives of judgment. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind, there was an understanding, there was a, a mental state that Jesus was in. That's why he succeeded. And the Bible says, permit it to be in you in the same way it was with Jesus Christ. When God called Abraham, he was a man who was in a place called Ai of the Chaldeans. He was an idol worshiper. 
and based on his mindset and understanding there were certain things that were impossible and God needed to stretch his mind look at me please you can get my message pulling down strongholds I have seen as a leader as a man of God how many great people potentially have been limited because they cannot tear that mental barrier to give them space to be used by God scattered among us here are all kinds of people hallelujah please I need two people here where is promise where is Charles Charles protocol can you come please quickly hallelujah I want to use them as an example wherever he is if he's within reach let him come I want to use him as an example if your mindset does not change your life cannot move forward please this is not some psychology sociological reality unfortunately we come from backgrounds where there are conditionings over our minds there are people for instance who have been taught listen there are people who have been taught that you will never succeed you will never amount to anything you came from a background where everybody was a failure and that conditioning has been there. I am a failure. I don't expect to succeed. I don't expect things to work for me. Do you know the Bible says in Psalms, I think 78, 41 or so. It says they limited him in the wilderness. Hallelujah. I want to use these two gentlemen. Please don't be offended. I've used them again and again because they are great people. Where is Francis? Can you join him, please? Francis, your friend. Where is he? Come, 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 quickly. Appreciate him. Do you mind if I share your testimony again? <laughs> Look what he's doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I spoke to you about this guy. He came to Zaria with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks and earrings. That's how he came into the city. Can you imagine? This is the assistant head of prayer department. <laughs> the prayer department. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Believe me, he was not a bad boy. He was a victim of an understanding. Because he probably grew up in an environment and where he was schooling before, the occult groups taught that if you were a capon, right, then they associated violence and rebellion with greatness. Listen, life is always proposing an ideology to you about a true definition of success and you must return to the word of god and re-edit your template your value system look at his life right now a testament of a transformed mind let me tell you a very funny story thank you sir this gentleman you mind if i share your testimony now let me tell you how he came to this ministry he saw a lady that he liked he was an occultist came all the way from another state listen oh he's very born again i can tell you born again and successful and wealthy as a matter of fact hallelujah he saw a lady one of my ladies and saw her and said ah you know all these occultic things and so on and so forth and as he followed her she gladly led him just keep coming he was like a sheep to the slaughter not knowing what was going to happen to him listen that's beauty used for the kingdom. I'm not saying you go to a beer parlor and tell somebody, follow me. God did not send you there. Let me balance it up front. Because I can't assume, in our generation today, you must explain everything. Everything. Praise the Lord. And this is what happened. It was you that brought him, right? Now, this guy came that night. He got born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, transformed completely that night his friends gave him seven days to return back to his lifestyle seven days have become over six or seven years or thereabout never to return again he was so impacted he went and dragged this one and said just come are we together now i'm not sure this guy had an idea what was going to happen to him and he dragged him and brought him let me tell you what happens in this place you are first saved and the next mission is your mental transformation until your ideology is changed you are not really born again believe me when i tell you this 
see what God has made. They are serving in the body, doing great things for the kingdom. These are the guys responsible for your bosses. They have a direct... Did you know he could not speak Hausa? But he speaks Hausa right now because he had to learn it so that he will be effective as the, as the boss coordinator. Can you imagine that? That's passion for the kingdom. And I pray, guys, may God bless you. I love you with all my heart. May God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Who is your life changing? From the time they came into your life, have their understandings changed? Now, you see, we, we, that you are well-meaning does not mean you are transformed. Separate being nice societally. I don't steal, I don't kill, I don't fornicate. It's not the same as transformation. Transformation is the process that makes you like Christ. And it is not a gift, it's a reward. You will labor to get into that state. Transformation requires admitting that something about your thinking is destroying your life. There are people who are born again, but they are greedy. There are people who are born again, but they are angry. I counsel a lot of people. And sometimes you see couples. I remember one couple, very interesting. Uh, I mean, and they had been married for a while, not just two years, five years. And they fought. They fought police had to come and stop them. So two of them said they were coming to report themselves and they booked for counseling. Husband and wife. Two of them sat down. Madam, what's the problem? This man does not respect me. And she was just landing it and the man kept quiet. When I finished, said, man of God, you are seeing what made me beat this woman. And the truth is both of them love themselves. But everybody was coming with the idea of his territory. Somebody told that guy, when you beat your wife, she will respect you. Are you getting that information? He stored it in his pocket. Somebody told the lady, if you are weak to a man, he will disrespect you. If he punches you, you roll your hand and punch him back. So, listen, all of them are executing their ideologies. There are pastors who believe their thinking is that if you want to be rich, be a pastor. Because you will receive prophets, offering, etc. You see that? So, their ideology led them to fast for 40 days. They created names, they created protocol. Are we together now? Very important. Listen, let this mind that I have labored and I still do with all my heart. I don't trust myself outside of the word of God. I don't even know what I can become. I started a project years ago. Not a project to become a preacher. Because when I contrasted the word of God to my mindset, I was, I was messed up in almost everything. My understanding of leadership, my understanding of ministry, my understanding of almost everything. The pastors that trained me, did not teach me prosperity was a blessing from God. They sang songs like, take the world and give me Jesus. No, no, I won't sing that song at all. I, my heart is to God, but I realize that prosperity is an important tool in kingdom building. And I will never mislead you. I'm not apologetic about it. Poverty and prosperity, which one is better? Don't let a poor man who has never been blessed carry his stumbling block and come to you and tell you, see how simple my life is. You are, if you are healed, you are healed for yourself. If you are saved, you are saved for yourself. Only prosperity is shareable. That's why Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. The gospel is free, but the means to carry it to the lost is not free. Are we together now? Yeah. Your mindset something about your village something about the thinking your upbringing there are ladies here for instance our mothers though well-meaning and sincere have taught us that when you want to get money from a man do a b c men are very stupid people this is how to collect money from them you are born again you pray in tongues but that mindset is still in you are we together there are people who still do what i call traditional christianity they love god but when the going gets tough, they call you and say, come home. And you know what that means. Come home means revisit your roots. And you go back and they give you your husband in a bottle. They carve clear and put it inside and say, for as long as you are holding this bottle, this is your husband. Do with him as you please. I have counseled people who brought charms. I mean, they removed it and said, man of God, I won't lie to you. This is it. I said, what is this for? Say for money. And I said, but you don't look rich. Meaning it's not working. Oh, or this one is for 
um, I, I remember counseling some ladies. Now, this is not to condemn you. True story. They may even be here. Don't feel offended. Some ladies who said they, they went, was it Zaria City to collect something? True story. Something like a powder or something. You, you rub it. I don't know if it's the, you rub it or bath with it. And any man that sees you, no matter what is, except he's really born again, indeed, with a track record in the spirit, otherwise he will follow you like a sheep. And I looked at them. I said, you mean this is what you are doing to yourself? Something in your mind is limiting your destiny right now. Hallelujah. I began a project to change my mind. There were some things I never saw growing up. I knew that if I needed to be a global leader, there was a thinking. Africa teaches us to be mediocre and failures. Our mentality in Africa is comparing with our, ourselves with ourselves. They say, I'm a family of seven people. And right now, I'm the first person to buy a Pujo. And we keep making noise over it. Whereas God is saying, there are great things I want to do with you. Please, that mindset must die tonight. There are even territories associated with certain levels of mediocrity. Have you heard people say that? Men from this place, they are irresponsible. Women from this place, they are, uh, what, they, are, they are immoral. You can change that in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that the people from, from my village, the core people in the village, I grew up knowing that they used to drink. Drink seriously. Why? I don't know. But I reject that testimony. Count me out. I'm not part of it. Are we together now? Don't say because I grew up seeing it happen. You grew up seeing people oppress people to be blessed. But you're going to change and say no. My mind has changed. My mind has changed. Based on the power of the word of God. I found out that Jesus was not the Jesus that was taught in the Bible. The Jesus pastors preached. As a wicked, cruel God out to kill and destroy people. But my Bible says it is the thief that comes to steal and kill and to destroy. I never give up on people. No matter what has happened. Because the Bible says there is hope for a tree. He said at the scent of water. Never give up on people. We are going to pray. But I'm challenging us. Especially with the young people. There is a mindset we must change. And the Bible says, by the truth. By the truth. Something about your conditioning will make you fail in life if you don't change it. Something about your understanding may make you a bad father, a bad mother. That you are well-meaning is not enough. You must have the mind of Christ. Please lay your hands on your head. And say, in spite of the mindset of my culture, in spite of my background, in spite of the limitations of Nigeria and my territory, I change my mindset. I declare that I come from a kingdom that is foreign to this earth. And I refuse to be limited in the name of Jesus. Years ago, when God was showing me the visions of the things that are happening today, I saw these things and they were great. And brothers and sisters, half of this have not even come to pass. What you see now is child's play. It's just one step out of the cave. Hallelujah. And God showed me these things. But he was waiting for me to agree with him. Please come, Ejimi. Listen. This is God saying, Ejimi, see how far he said, as far as your eyes can see. But Ejimi is standing. Oh, I come from a background. I come from Ijebode. There is a limitation. There are all kinds of things. And God is saying, I can do so much with you. I can smash that barrier. You say, Lord, I went to school at 25. When my colleagues are doing masters, that's when I'm passing jam. And God is saying, no. Abraham started his ministry almost 75 years old. Are we together? Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Change your mentality. Change your understanding. I made up my mind. Listen. I made up my mind that there are things Africa will never limit in my life. 
there are things in my mind and beyond the spheres of this place it's not pride it's the truth i didn't get it just by prayer he said i daniel understood by books there is a labor of knowledge i've studied the largest churches in every continent study them carefully Forbes list of billionaires I've studied all of them one by one it's not just prayer please I'm telling you you must agree that something you know is limiting you when it was time to set up Covenant University Bishop Oyeniko sent delegates to comprehensively study Cambridge Yale Harvard right and, and which Oxford I think these four or five top universities and then he now added a kingdom dimension to their limitation and said this becomes a structure of our, our university koinonia is patterned after an understanding there is somewhere we are going we have seen that it's possible to combine the anointing with excellence and we are striving to increase that you you should not choose one and leave the other God wants to do great things with you and today he's asking you do you believe I used to say it when we used to meet um, on the floor that time we did not even have math on the floor that we are all going to be great in this life and the beautiful part is that we we'll all know ourselves people of God there is more that God wants to do say there is more that God can do with my life I refuse to be a local champion say it I refuse to be a local champion a Jimmy's wife had been making cakes long before she got married she's been making cakes but she made up her mind that she wanted to be world-class and I got to find out that all her time in Lagos she had dedicated it this an economist but because this was the area of her passion she started taking certifications UK based certifications and all kinds of certifications to be extraordinary the fruit of it is what we are seeing today who is ready to pay you for your transformation have you been so developed that you become priceless this can't be it God is so much bigger than this prophesy to yourself this can't be it this can't be it he is so much bigger than this so he's calling you deeper that's what he's saying deeper deeper Calling you deeper, deeper, it's calling you deeper. You know why we are not celebrating Koinonia now? My concept of birthdays is not that you were born, is that you are living out the purpose for being born. I am personally convinced that nobody has a right to celebrate birthday until you know why you are on earth and your life is experientially blessing people. A day will come we'll make noise about Koinonia when we build the schools. Remember I told you about our schools. My goodness, bring your children to our schools. Yes, we are adding three extra courses. Spiritual growth, a course called Koinonia and financial intelligence. Every They will learn it from primary school. Hallelujah. Yes. Part of spiritual growth will introduce a program called honesty, morality, and conscience. We have a society that numbs conscience. You kill somebody and say it does not matter. The end justifies the means. No, sir. A Christian, the process to the result is as important as the result. When we launch the TV stations and we are doing great things, we can turn and then pat our back now we we'll lie to ourselves because compared to where god is taking us it's a step out of the cave people are already clapping and i told god block my ears in jesus name block my ears 
You need to learn to challenge yourself. Raise standards. Don't say I'm better than somebody. No, that's a foolish way of progress. The Bible says, and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. We used to sing a song when we were preparing for our crusade. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Listen, if you wanted me to cry, raise that song. That was the song that brought tears from my eyes. Because every time they raised the song, I saw nations. The Bible didn't say you are a village. It said you are a city. You may start from where you are, but don't die where you are. You started from Zaria. Oh, my father is a carpenter. My mother was frying a car. So what? The Bible says, ask for the nations and I will give you. I'm speaking to people here. We are going to pray. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands to see your eyes. As it rises or not. One more time. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen, you must challenge yourself to be exceptional. Listen, listen. Sandra just came in this evening. I was very touched when she came in. Something very remarkable happened. This lady you are seeing within three months has done three jobs. She works directly with the house of assembly. It's not about lobbying. It's the power of competence and the keys of the kingdom. It was the official car that brought her to Zaria. But people say there is no job. It depends on what your understanding is. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. Don't let this country cheat you. People are shouting the dollar, the pound. Even those who have never seen it are already victims of it. Hallelujah. It was a humorous story. Please permit me to share. One of her former bosses where she was working started doing some funny things like wanting to sleep with her or something. And, and you, know, all, you know all these men that behave as if their heads are not correct. May God punish anyone that wants to destroy the destiny of anybody in the name of Jesus Christ. You are entitled to one wife and God designed it to be enough. Anything more than that, you need deliverance. Say amen. amen. If there's anybody, our fathers, mothers, who are planning another marriage in the name that is above all names, we cancel it right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I just felt like pressing that one in so that we don't let it just pass like that. And listen, the moment... Thank you very much. She has an understanding that you cannot be disadvantaged. It's a mentality. As that one was trying to play all of that nonsense, another one came, born again, honorable member. And he looked at her in 24 hours. She got a new job, upgraded with salary and everything. Brothers and sisters, listen. This thing will work for you if you know how to work it. If, if you think what is happening, people are just talking. No, sir. I think it was Pastor Alpha when you started your PhD. They get, I mean, it was, it was challenging over scholarship and this. But you can see him coming here. He's doing his PhD. And he's on, I think you're on scholarship. He's on scholarship from University of Joss. And he's just enjoying life. See, i like you to say it must happen differently with me. Refuse that thing of, of, of the way it's happening to everybody. No, there is an anointing upon you. Remember. There is an anointing upon you. Please, we are going to rise up and we'll pray. We are rounding this up. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changed. Status is changed. It's no more decline. No more decline. I'm on my way. To better day, sorry, the Lord is hearing you. My status is changing. It's no more time. I'm 
I'd like us to pray. Please, let's have the communion. We have to be very fast because I want to speak. There are destinies that must open up today. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Lord, a fresh passion for you. Above and beyond money, faith, ministry, business. Going on here, lift your voice and pray. Lord, a fresh passion. A fresh passion. Shake it back at the baba baba baba. Coin on your brain. Shake it back at the very rocks. A fresh passion. You, O oh Lord, at my desire. I desire you more than my necessary food. Oh, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. Pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 5. Hallelujah. Revelation 5. Please, I'd like us to be sensitive. The communion is a mystery. Jesus said, Except ye eat of my body and drink of my blood he said you cannot have my life the communion is a mystery we're going to do will be very very fast as soon as we do this our prayer request as instructed by god now we'll collect it in twofold but that's Maybe when we are praying, we'll be doing that so that we can have it. Ushers, please make sure you get ready. The ones that represent your challenges, according to Exodus 14, 14, I'd like you to pass it first because we are going to burn it right now. That's the instruction that the Lord gave, please. And then the ones that represent your testimonies, when you give that one, I'll ask you to forward that one and we'll pray on it here just like we do the miracle service. Please, ushers, quickly. Quickly, you have to be very fast. Our time is gone. While you're holding it, I'd like you to begin to pray and say the blood of Jesus is ending this captivity in my life forever. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Pray. The Bible says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit for they are spiritually discerned. The Lord gave us an instruction. Please just pass it round. The one that represents challenges, pass it to the last person so that the ushers will receive it. Just the challenges, just the challenges. There are two requests. Your expectations, your challenges, pass the challenges very quickly. Hallelujah. Revelations 5 verse 12. Saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb. Not worthy is the king. Not worthy is Jesus. There is a dimension he used to purchase these things for us. And is that dimension as a lamb. The lamb that was what? Slain. It was on account of his being slain. On account of his blood. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive. He has received for us. Power. Riches. Wisdom. Strength. Honor. Glory. 
and blessing notice it did not say blessings it says blessing now look up please i want you to be sensitive the blessing is an operation of the holy spirit upon a man's life please listen the blessing is different from blessings the blessing is an operation of the holy spirit it's like an anointing when it comes upon your life like a mantle the assignment of the blessing is to compel creation to respond to you as though you were in the garden of eden please listen when god made man he blessed them when the flood came god blessed noah it was it was um isaac that said make me venison that i will eat that my soul will rejoice that i may bless you what did he give jacob that when esau came he said there's nothing left how did he know it had left him listen the blessing is transferable you can carry it bodily god opened my eyes to this revelation and it surprised me hallelujah the blessing does three things number one it attracts people it attracts resources and it attracts opportunities never forget this the blessing on you mysteriously but undeniably begins to attract people he said all men seek for thee that's what they told jesus all men seek for thee the blessing can make your critics bless you although they are talking against you the blessing can make people you do not know he said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles hallelujah we are going to pray and say lord as i partake of this communion every every pronouncement every cause of negativism over my life the blessing will take it away today forever lift your voice and pray please lift your voice and pray the blessing is coming upon me the blessing will change my life the blessing will veto the limitations of my background and take me to another dimension. Please pray. Be a believer. It doesn't take time. It takes the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to bless the communion. This is ordinary wine and wafers. But... The Bible says, is this not the cup of the blessing? The cup of the blessing. There is a mystery. It gives you access to receive that mantle. I have seen the blessing work. I know it works. Hallelujah. Now, we have to be very fast. There are several overflows. And please, I need you to cooperate with all the people leading there. We are going to be very, very fast. You will come, pick the cup and the wafers and drop it if there's anyone under the anointing ushers please as they fall under the anointing shift them away so that we can hurry up on this we have just about 10 or so minutes to do this because we need to prophesy something must come upon your life hallelujah immediately after that please prepare while worship is going on we'll raise high, high praise for two to five minutes and then we'll burn those things and we'll speak father in the name of jesus this is ordinary wafers i stretch my hands over this and the ones outside in all of the overflows one two three outside down to the roadside let this lose its earthly significance as wafers and wine i pray the bible says in hosea chapter 12 it says i have multiplied visions i have spoken to you through the prophets he said i have used similitudes May the power of the highest, the power that is responsible for performance, come upon these wafers, come upon this wine. In the name of Jesus, 
that everyone who partakes by faith may they step into a strange order of the blessing in the name of Jesus. God bless you. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Come and just take some of your seats. Break every chain. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Please, everyone should partake of the communion. Everyone, including children, if you can give them, please give it to them. God bless you. Can we help? We have to be very fast. Please, very fast. Just pick one and then make your way very quickly. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. They will break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. What's happening there? Why the delay? Please. Stand back, let our parents come protocol. You are just watching, you should direct them, please. Break every chain, 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 break every chain. There's an army, there's an army rising. There's an army. There's an army rising now. They will break every chain. 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 Casting crowns. Lifting hands. Breaking arms. What I've come to do I'd like you to begin to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues for what is coming upon you. Pray in tongues in the spirit. Go ahead and begin to pray as you return back to your seat. Please, we have to be fast. Just pick the wine, the bread, and then you can give way for others. There is an anointing upon it. Please, as you walk, just come out very fast. We have to be very fast. Beautiful you are, wonderful you've been, you are glorious, faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward, you are glorious, my God.
Please pray. You say, Lord, something must land upon my life tonight. An anointing must come upon me. An unction from the Holy One must swallow up every challenge in my life. Pray like a believer that you are. Pray like a believer that you are. You are able to change the stories of men, oh God. You are able to change the stories of men. Communion is yet to come. Just be patient and pray. You can take the bread and just be patient. Please, if the welfare need help, can we have some hands to help them? Rando soto Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command the gates that hold the next level of my life be open now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray from your heart. Command the gates. The gates kapa shupa radaba zikete kete pras karababa zopere kuto shupre dis kalaba brands kapa rato shoto prete kete gates be open be open be open be open be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every cause of hardship. My family. My loved ones. By the mystery of the blood. I bring it to an end right now. Lift your foot and begin to pray. The cause of hardship, the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow, the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow. Loved ones, we bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end by the power. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end 
we bring it to an end by the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, every covenant I enter into, knowingly or knowingly, is responsible for the failures in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to take authority over every sickness. Every strange manifestation in your body. The Bible says your body, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Every tree that has not been planted by my father tonight the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus no sickness HIV must live Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the sound of padlocks. That's what I'm hearing in my ears. Please, I'd like you to be very sensitive now. I want to pray for you. Inside and outside. We have prayed. The number eight stands for new beginning. It must leave you. Everything that has not been by the ordinances of heaven it must leave you right now lift your hands as i pray for you i tell you the fire of god will fall in this place please shift all these things our time is almost up but we must deal with these things when i finish praying at the count of three i like you to shout jesus with all your heart i hear sounds like an opening of a padlock This apostolic anointing, every gate, every altar, every destiny, every family, of the bondage, of the yokes, every fraternity, the activities of necromancers, the manipulated destinies. Mira. 
darkness every enchantment every divination fire Hallelujah. I see at least 30 ladies, 30, 30 sisters, strange things that come to you in the night as you sleep. Right now, as I begin to pray, the fire will begin to set you free. Right now, look, 30 of them, at least they are fighting. I see God doing a lot of things with ladies, ladies especially, ladies, sisters, sisters, strange spirits that oppress the destinies of people, strange spirits that tie down people, sisters at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, I see the king of Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. The Lord is showing me the cause of death over certain families. I see at least 13 families. It's like a mantle. People die strangely. Keep your hands lifted. I'm about to pray right now. Father, wherever you are right now, you spirit of Shout that name Jesus at the count of three. I'm seeing chains of people's foot outside. Chains. And I'm to release you from the left. Three. hallelujah I want to pray for you this is an impartation now this is not deliverance this is going to come mighty on many of us listen there is an anointing that makes men succeed you have prayed there is an anointing 
that makes men succeed bring this gentleman this is madness that's what i'm saying leave him right now i command you you must go right now and never return restore the fortunes of his family right now in the name of jesus christ for there is a name that is above every other name let him go free in the name of jesus please if you miss this you have wasted your fast this is the time i want you to open up your heart we have to suspend the number help them please so they don't enjoy themselves we have to suspend the number of things right now because we are supposed to be praying on the request i don't want to keep us too long here but you have to receive this there is an empowerment that can change a man's life please listen hear me when i tell you there is an anointing that can change a man it's not by might it's not by power i want you to receive this with all your heart there will be a mighty impartation lift your hands father there is nothing i have that did not come from you your people have fasted they have prayed it's time for them to enter on usual levels of accomplishments i stand upon this selection of grace according to the measure of the gift of christ in my life at the count of three let the heavens be open and let there be strange impartations for the heads of department please where are you quickly just come up here there is an anointing upon me don't stop don't stop be sensitive please in the name of jesus you will step into strange levels of grace join them it's not by might it's not by power in the name of jesus greater fire greater grace step into new dimensions of wisdom fire in the name of jesus drink of the of the spirit greater levels greater fire in the name of jesus greater fire can i pray for you? a new level of what 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 said the spirit of god. i bring you to a new level a new dimension of what and grace in the name of jesus please lift your hands i pray you the anointing to pray is going to hit some of you like a tornado. My God, stand up this apostolic anointing. ministry i want to release it upon you not something you beg for there is a mantle the bible says and japanese was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you hold your hands i see a fresh unction 
for some history hold your hands i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for the instrumentals to everybody right now that fire comes on you one by one as i stroke my hands Chemistry, spirit, new option, new something from heaven, something from heaven, something from heaven. Hallelujah! I prophesy to you: everything that was lost shall be returned to you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored to you. Everything that was lost. Hallelujah. Ralph, lift your hands. There is a mantle of success coming upon you right now. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. You are a military man. You are a pastor. But God is about to distinguish you. I see a connection with generals. Generals in the army. The Lord is saying that's what he's doing for you. He will do it by his spirit. He will do it by his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are they? Okay, come Victor quickly. Yerima, come quickly. Okay, they are the heads of departments left. You will step into new levels. It's not by power. It's not by might. Step into that strange dimension of the spirit. Right now in the name of Jesus. New dimensions of creativity. New dimensions of power new dimensions of power i pray for those who are students here hallelujah everyone here marked for death marked for death pastor femi the lord is visiting your family i see an altar of fire that's what i'm seeing an altar this altar has tied down your family i'm seeing particularly your father your father this altar has tied him down tied him down nothing he does prospers but the lord is saying i'm changing it I'm changing it. Listen, I don't care what you have lost in the name that is above all names. I pray for you. Pursue. There is an anointing for favor please believe me you argue this life will punish you in a serious way there is an anointing for favor he said i will lose the loins of kings you will suck the breast of kings that's what the bible says lord i pray the mysterious anointing upon this ministry that commands unusual favor i pray for you wherever you are like fire it comes upon you right now. Take it, take it, take it right now. Receive it. Receive it inside out.
Hallelujah. Now I want to release the blessing. My life is a product of the blessing. It's an operation of the spirit that attracts people. That's what is responsible for this crowd you're seeing. I cannot fully explain it. But I know that is dangerously mysterious. It's an anointing that gives you access. Uncommon access. I have met kings. I have met politicians. I have met noble men. I have met billionaires. I have met strange men. Brothers and sisters, I will lie to you. If I tell you it's just because my name is Joshua Selman. There is such an anointing. I want to release it upon you. It's called the blessing. I pray for you. My God and my King. I stand upon my bare foot tonight. In the name that is above all names. As touching this anointing God has given me. At the count of three. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. In one minute. I like us to pray for all our elderly ones who have come to honor us from the depth of your heart prophesy upon them pray for our mothers our fathers scattered all over here in one minute lord we multiply your grace Sorry, we may not have time to do all of that. Our time is gone. We are very, very late. But I want to pray here. Exodus 16, 16 14, 14. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. When they got to the Red Sea, listen, the Egyptians were behind, coming with fury and anger. Before them, the Red Sea, and they were afraid. And Moses said, fear not he says stand still and you will see the salvation of the lord he said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more i pray for you every challenge you wrote before the god of israel i come tonight in the form of the book as it has been written that challenge hallelujah I pray for your expectations tonight is the night of manifestation if you have it lift it up if you don't lift if you don't have it lift your hands please the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld its glory father I pray 
from the realm of the spirit there is a mystery of manifestation he said the spirit and the bride says come come to us the spirit and the word materializes things every please if you are holding even if it's for your loved ones don't worry just lift it to god i'm praying these expectations between now and the end of this month we turn them into testimonies listen your eyes have seen them your ears have heard them now i command your hands to handle them to handle them. by the mystery of divine supply there was a raven that brought food for elijah at brook Cherid. i don't care what needs to be done for these expectations to materialize the power to make it happen receive it right now receive it right now and one more time i call your helpers help us of your destiny hear the word of the lord from the north to the south the east and the west wherever you are between now and next week show me the life of god's people show me the life of god's people show me the life of god's people i declare to you this is the least level you will ever be in life everything that has not been working in your life go back to it now i command you to walk i command you to walk everyone come jobless yeah between now and april no matter how long it has been we put a job in your hands by prophecy in the name of jesus everyone on any building project here that has been grounded the finishers are not in comes upon that project. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Beginning from tonight, that mark of honor and greatness, whoever sees your face, I command them to bless you. Whoever looks upon your face, I command the release of favor. You shall from today be called Beulah and Hepzibah. You shall be called Beulah. That well with that garden. And Isaac blessed his son. And he said, the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. I pray for you. May a fragrance live your life tonight and attract everyone who should bless you. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and give Jesus praise. For tonight's service. Hallelujah. Very quickly, you're worshiping with us tonight for the first time. Wherever you are, please, I'd like you to make your way forward inside and outside. Please clear the way for them in one minute. You notice that for a few days, we did not welcome our new people. Just one minute and we're out of here very quickly. You're worshiping with us for the first time. Make your way. God bless you quickly, quickly, quickly. While they come out, let's listen to the following announcement. While they come out, please make your way. There are so many people. Make your way to the front. We want to bless you and speak over your lives. Now listen, please. I encouraged everyone. Listen, please. Don't be distracted. We're almost done. I encouraged everyone. Was it on Tuesday and when, or Wednesday? When we considered sacrifice, please. I want you to tie a sacrifice. Not tonight. Go and ask the Lord. What is the demand? The difference between an offering as, and a seed is one is free will. A seed is instructed. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart and say, Lord, instruct me. What seed am I going to tie and sow into this ministry, into your work? Please, this is not some human manipulation. By the grace of God and with all humility, God has been faithful to us. And we're very responsible people. But I will cheat you and I will deceive you and mislead you. If after spending seven days, from the first day we started this, there is no day my seed has not been going, speaking for me. Hallelujah. The Bible says the seed will bruise the head of the serpent. The seed can bruise the head of the serpent. 
So please, I'd like you to agree with God. For those who came with your seed, if you came with your seed, after the service, the treasurer is here, please listen. Aside from the finance department, no one should, uh, to, should ask you to give him money, not online, especially those online. Please tell them, anybody asking you for money online in the name of the ministry is an armed robber. It's a thief. Praise the Lord. Just forward the details to the media department and they'll know how to deal with that issue. We do not make any of such solicitations. Anybody using my face online, just know that you are dealing with a fraudster and a thief. I'm not even on social media. So anybody you see is just a, a, a faithful follower. And if he misuses that opportunity, may the God I serve punish him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. So please, but you must make... Can you project the ministry's account number? Is that possible? We have an official account number. If you are making any seeds, people have been asking me. I know one of our mothers was asking me yesterday. Please, any seed, we do not do ministry seeds to personal accounts. No. Don't send funds for ministry to my personal account. No. It's very wrong. We have a ministry account. And these are the details. And so you can please take advantage of it. Make sure that you make a sacrifice. Involve your loved ones. They may criticize you, no problem. When you get the results, it will change your life forever. So you can make your payments or you can meet the treasurer, the finance department. The ushers can help you after service in the name of Jesus. Let's honor those who are worshiping with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And we are five today. Amen and amen. So you are very blessed to be worshiping with us. We are here every Friday. We will be here next week again, Friday. Do join us. The Lord is changing people. And he will take you from one dimension to the other. For those who came from far, you can go to our media stand, get teachings and all the resources that can bless you, even as you go back in Jesus' name. We want to pray and speak over your life. I want you to know you will never be the same. Stretch your hands, saints of God, in one minute. And let's prophesy over their lives. In the name of Jesus, we call you blessed. Go back with this grace. Go and reproduce it. May the hand of the Lord be with you. We plant in you a fresh passion for the things of the kingdom. Everything that is not consistent with the ways of the kingdom lives your life forever. We bless you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I'd like you to follow a gentleman. There's a lady there. They are all waving their hands. They'll have your details and will communicate to you. They welcome you more warmly on our behalf. God bless you and thank you. Thank you so much. Let's honor them once again. Hallelujah. All school of ministry students, classes resume after the long period of fasting. So 8 o'clock, please be in class and be praying. Um, I'll be in Kaduna tomorrow ministering at a church. For those of you who came uh, from Kaduna, you can find out more details with the protocol department. I trust that it will be an awesome time tomorrow in the name that is above all names. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just allow them move out and then we'll rise up to share the grace. Um, about the ministry cake, well, I'm not sure it will go around, but I assure you we'll eat on your behalf. Hallelujah. And um, as we eat, just know that you are eating in us in the name of Jesus Christ. But I would love welfare. Can you put at least a little piece for some of our mothers? Let's honor them. I can begin to mention names. A dad, prof. You may not know them. Please honor them so many and i was told that there are so many people um, mrs ehoche mrs um, um onu and um mrs eje mommy eje i was told so i don't know if she's around or she's gone our daddy prof there are so many people please bless them i don't know if madam Ladi is around also bless her bless every other person inside and outside please don't be offended if I didn't call your name, the Lord bless and honor you. I know uh, Mrs. Abejide is somewhere here too. Somewhere scattered. The Lord will bless and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we rise up? Hallelujah. You walk into the manifestation of everything we have prayed for in the name of Jesus Christ beginning from tonight your life becomes a circle of unending testimonies 
everything that has refused to multiply in your life it begins to multiply in the name of jesus christ after the grace i'd like you to hug 20 people and tell them it's another dimension the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you see you next week hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you